In this video, I wanted to show you how to work with multivariate functions. So you already may know how to graph them. In this video, I'll talk a little bit more about how to use their structure. So first of all, I'm going to put in a 3D graphics view, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the 2D graphics view. And so I'm going to type a function in here. I'm going to give this function the name f of x comma y. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because anywhere later on that I want to reference this function, I can refer to it by its name, which is f. So I'm just going to plot the paraboloid x squared plus y squared and I'll press enter and there's the paraboloid that I get. Now if I want to do things like let's say I want to evaluate that function I can do things like um, come into my I'm going to actually pull up my CAS view and CAS view is just the uh, computer algebra system that allows you to do things like algebra which is something we may use later on. Okay so in here I could do something like f of 2 comma 3 and I'm going to get an answer of 13. And so what that means is that if I plug in 2 for x and 3 for y, I'll get 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is 13. Um, I can also do things like type in f of x comma 2. And what that will do is that will evaluate my function for y equals 2, but for left x left unknown. So if I plug in 2 for y, I'll get the function f of x squared plus 4. Um, Another thing I can do is in here, I can, uh, well, I can't insert a slider in the 3D view, but I'm going to pull up my graphics 2D view real quick, close the computer algebra system. I'm going to close, I'm going to move this over here. There we go. And what I can do in here is, let's say I want to insert a slider, and I want this slider, we'll just call it A, let it go from negative 5 to 5. I click OK. Right now the slider doesn't do anything, it's just changing the value of the number A over here. But maybe what I want to do is I want to take a look at F of, I want to plot in this 2D view, I want to plot F of, F of, um, and maybe what I want is I want the current value of X to be set to whatever A is. So I'll do F of parenthesis A comma Y. Sorry, um, let's do X comma A. So in this case, that will set my value of y to the current value of a, and it will plot the resulting f of x for that function. So as I move this view, I gotta go back to my move view, and you can see that now it's plotting a parabola because what it's doing is it's evaluating. You can see it here, it's plugging in negative 2.5 right now for the value of y. And so then I can control that in a 2D view. Now I'm also seeing that function here, and that function may not mean much to me in this graphics view, so I can always hide it by right-clicking on the curve in the 3D view, clicking on Object Properties, going to the Advanced tab, and unchecking 3D graphics. That will just set my location to only show up in the graphics view. Now you can see if I uncheck this in the background, that's uh, turning on and off the graph in my 2D plot. So I don't want to see it in the 3D, so now I can um, actually plot it in here for different values of y. And if I don't like the fact that this is reading a and I want to change its name, I can always go in here and change its name in the basic tab. I can call this um, y or maybe the y, y val or something like that. And that way I know that that's my current y value that I'm being up, I'm plugging in for g of x. Now if I want to display this function here, I can go to ABC, insert a text, and I'm going to select the LaTeX formula. It's not LaTeX, it's LaTeX. And I can actually type in um, the function. So for example, if I just want to display the function, I can come over here to Objects and choose F, and notice that it gives me a pretty formatting of that function. But I, I don't want it to show me x squared plus y squared. I want it to show me x squared, I want it to show exactly this. So um, one thing I can do in here is I can just have it show g instead, and I can see that now it's going to show me that function. As I change the slider, the value inside of the parentheses here changes as well. Now I can have more control on this as much as I want. Like for example, if I want this to say f of x, y equals, I'm going to just use without a object box, I'm going to type in f of x comma y. So this way, because it's not part of an object box, it's not actually re referencing an object stored somewhere. It's actually just displaying in mathematical form f of x, y. Now if I uncheck LaTeX box, it's going to show up kind of ugly, right? We don't like the way that appears. That's why we have the LaTeX um, setting turned on. Um, So we'll turn on that LaTeX formula. Now if I want something like, uh, if I want it to show me something more unique, like the current value of x. So the current, actually here's what I'll do. 
I'll do slash text. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this to demonstrate the current value of x. Uh, sorry, the current value of y is. And now what I can do is I can actually have it show me the current value of y. So I can come in here and I can actually select from the symbols, sorry, from the objects, I can actually select y val. So notice that that's showing me the current value of y val. Now if I wanted to show me something like y val divided by 2, for instance, I could do y val in that box divided by 2. And now it's showing me that value divided by 2. But notice that it requires an object box. The object box specifically references some variable called y val in my environment and divides it by 2. Another thing I can do in here is I can actually have it select an empty box and that way I can type in what I want it to show. So maybe what I want it to show is y val um, times 2 plus 3 and now it will show me the result of y val times 2 plus 3 and that in this case is negative 1.2. So you can get pretty dynamic here. I could even divide this divide 3 by the another object in here. Let's say I want to divide it by f of x y. Okay, now notice that it's displaying 3 over x squared plus y squared because it's recognizing that f of x, y is an environment variable, and in this case it's, it's housing the function x squared plus y squared. So I can get pretty creative here on how I want this to do, uh, how I want this to display, and uh, you, there are really no limits only to the imagination of how far you can take this. So that's all I really wanted to demonstrate in this video. Hopefully this has been helpful.